New game? New game, Pepe? What's the new game? Marauders is an open world space pirate FPS game. I hope this trailer shows us the gameplay and not just some crazy cinematic. I love cinematics, but I want to know the game. If it's a new game, I want to see the gameplay. If it's a game I've played and I know what to expect, I'm fine with cinematics. But let's check this out. New game, Marauders, a space pirate FPS in an open world setting. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, for sure, Sordio, it was, dude. Like what I'm seeing so far. Kind of has like a fucking steampunky Wolfenstein feel to it. Boarding. Great. All right. Wow, yeah, it has a Wolfenstein feel to it. Is that all I get? There's got to be a little bit more. This is Marauders, a multiplayer space pirate. I can't hear. Shooter. I can't hear. What's he saying? Basically about you traveling in space with a crew or solo in a spaceship with one goal in mind, which is to take down and raid other spaceships and players. Marauders is set in an alternative 1990s where the Great War never ended. Earth has been industrialized to its breaking point and many have fled to the stars. As space mercenaries known as Marauders, players will gear up and pilot their ships through hostile galactic reaches to salvage anything they can and survive by any means necessary. This game kind of reminds me of Rust mixed with Escape from Tarkov. So if you ever played those two games, then you'll basically fit right at home with this game. And Marauders will raid other spaceships and players for valuable loot. So if you see a spaceship near you that's roaming around, you'll be able to board that same spaceship to loot and kill All right, it. Very simplistic uh, space gameplay. I don't, I'm glad they included it, but it's, but it almost looks a little too simplistic for me. I, I you know, just constructive criticism here. It looks pretty simple. So it seems to me that now this is an indie guy. This is an indie developer here. So, you know, I'll throw him a little break, but this, but the space portion needs to be a little bit more. There needs to be a little bit more depth to the gameplay. I don't think that's where the primary portion of the gameplay comes from. It's obviously the FPS, uh, when you board anyone who's on it and take whatever you find fit also any loot that you find you can use for yourself your spaceship or if you are in need of some cash you could sell it to a vendor you'll also be able to customize your own spaceship of your choosing for example you could customize your ship to have extra storage a radar turrets mines torpedoes and pretty much anything that will help you survive against other enemies but each different ship will have a limited number of slots that you can fill with different parts so you'll need to plan out what parts your ship will get for your next plan of attack You'll also have the option to sell or buy ships from a vendor as well. Each ship will be equipped with a dropship as well, which is used to raid other spaceships. Modification is also a major part of this game. You can modify pretty much every piece of gear you carry. But can you play against other gamers? Or is this like co-op where you're fighting against NPC on a large ship? Because if you can, if you go against other players, I'm all for it. If this is a fucking co-op thing where you're going against NPC and AI, I'm not so much for it. Character wears and the weapons in your arsenal. So if you want to have a specific scope or hand grip on a certain weapon, or if you want to have stronger clothing, then you'll have to find the right materials. All right, to customization, by crafting, crafting okay. Cool. Gaining XP is also another important aspect to this game. You will gain XP for every match, whether you survive or not. But if you do survive, you'll gain more XP. When you have enough XP, you will level up your rank and be rewarded with skill points. Skill points can be spent in the skill tree to unlock new crafting recipes and increasing skills such as strength, stamina, etc. As of right now, the game is set to release this year in early access for only Steam and Xbox Game Pass for PC, so there are no plans of a console port yet. So that will be all for this video, be sure to subscribe as I will be covering this game again in case any other major updates get announced. I'll see you on the next one. Hmm. 
I don't see anything about it being an actual open world where you're playing against other people. Marauders is a tactical first person multiplayer shooter set in an alternate 1990 uh, where the Great War never ended. Earth has been industrialized to its breaking point. Blah, blah, blah. Players will gear up and pilot their ships through hostile galactic reaches to salvage anything they can and survive by any means necessary. Throughout each match, players will be able to upgrade their gear on the fly. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and embark on tense touchdowns on moving asteroids. They'll have the uh, they'll also have to keep a close watch for others looking to do the same, and end their expedition with a bullet. So it sounds like it might be co-op in the terms of when you board the larger ship, you're fighting NPC AI, but you also are got to, you also have to watch out for other players. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So I'll put this link down below when I ship this off to YouTube. Uh, if it has that element to it where you can fight other gamers in it, it sounds like you're vying for like items uh, and to become, um, you know, uh, a beast. Like you, you're going beast mode. You got to get skill points. You got to craft better weapons. So it sounds like you're going up against other players against an AI and that you will be fighting both AI and PC and um, other gamers. Now that is interesting to me. So I will also follow this. That like to me, it's got a lot of the, the the type of gameplay that I like. It's got that vibe I like. It's got that Wolfenstein fucking feel to it. Uh, the graphics weren't bad. They weren't amazing, but they were. They were. They flowed. And we're talking about an independent. Um, we're talking about an independent publisher and developer here. So yeah, I'm willing to see what happens to this. So he says, I'm willing to follow and learn more. I'd really like to see Sig's ultimate vision for boarding. So would I. The boarding pods, like Soriel said, Gib SC uh, boarding pods, absolutely agree with. That's something that, that we need that. We need that. 